What's going on people? Today I am going to be talking about Schindler's List for you guys in 4K Ultra HD and I got that coming up for you next. So Schindler's List just came out in 4K Ultra HD for its 25th anniversary and I have the review for you guys right here. Starting off with the movie itself. Um, this movie was one of those movies, and it's always been one of those movies, that I have always really loved and really appreciated, but really found it hard to come back to. This is a very dark and very dour movie that, for me, I, I just, I like to have fun when I watch films and I, I really um yeah this movie I, I kind of lump in with uh, like Requiem for a Dream you know it, it's just not a lot of fun to watch they're both good movies but they're just not fun movies but at the same point in time they are necessary films and specifically Schindler's List any uh, film student or anybody that just loves film and loves watching movies just really needs to watch this at least once just for the storytelling that is here and the uh, cinematography which we will definitely talk about later and just to see a different side of uh, Steven Spielberg our director here this is a man that really um I would associate, especially today, like modern day Steven Spielberg with um, not being able to really handle really dark material. And um, that largely comes through with uh, some of his later films like uh, War of the Worlds, specifically the ending of that movie. Minority Report, the end of that movie, and just a lot of times where he is expected to go dark, he, he just kind of pushes away from that. He wants, he just wants a very crowd-pleasing film. That is, except for Schindler's List. He actually goes very dark here, and even though the ending can uh, display maybe a little bit of hope, a little, it's still, it's just a, a really powerful and probably his most gripping film. This movie is very gripping and thought-provoking and just a real great just display of cinema. And one of his best films, I will give it a 10 out of 10. And getting into the video quality here, this was one that I was really interested to check out and review for you guys, just because I hadn't seen a whole black and white film um, in the 4K format. And what can that format actually do to enhance the film itself? And uh, yeah, this is just a, a, a just a, an exciting time just because of this new 4K format or relatively new and just to see how it can enhance certain films and uh, just to give you guys some tech specs uh, this was actually given a 4k scan of the original 35 millimeter negative so that means that this is actually a uh, 4k digital intermediate no upscaling here and um I was largely, largely impressed with this, and I, I won't. I don't normally start off just by going straight into the HDR, but I am going to do that here just because I, I really have a lot to talk about with the HDR here. Now, you wouldn't just from initially uh, thinking of Schindler's List think that the HDR would really blow you away, but it really blew me away here just because of the richness and the inkiness of the black levels here. Um, blacks are definitely a big part of this film. It's black and white. And um, yeah, it, it just had like an inkiness to it that really enhanced the film quality that uh, this movie has. And I, I really just... 
enjoyed it, and I felt it all throughout this film. And on top of that, the pops of uh, color that this movie does give you, um, <clears throat> wow, it is so rich, and it literally just just pops off the screen, and I I just loved the segment that has that color. There is a whole lot of depth that really wasn't here on the Blu-ray. The foreground definitely pops out of the background a lot more than uh, in the previous Blu-ray. And as far as detail goes, you get a decent amount of detail when you're talking about uh, wood grains and uh, detail in uh, clothing and a lot of the uh, spindles that are in this film when you're talking about in the factories. As far as in facial tones and skin tones and a lot of that, you know, this is a black and white film and it just doesn't leave that much more detail to be had there. And uh, that's fine. You know, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. I wouldn't consider this reference quality like 2001, but, um, you know... This movie definitely benefits from the 4K transfer, and it looks great here. And getting into the audio, we are actually given a Dolby Atmos mix for Schindler's List. I, I was shocked when I saw that they were actually going to give this an Atmos track just because, um, yeah, this movie has always been like very front-heavy. I mean, very front-heavy. Even in that Blu-ray, it was just... You know, the surrounds were very soft, and even in action scenes, it was a front-heavy mix. It just was. Always has been. But here they have come up with a way to bring this to a, a new era of uh, film watchers. And um, that is something that you're either going to like, or you're going to go up against. And uh, I tend to really dig this. You know, um... There are times where um, it, it just kind of feels unnatural with the amount of height speaker work that is in this mix. It is definitely something you have never heard before or even thought that you would hear from Chandler's List. But I actually appreciate just the reimagining of the sound design in this movie and um that i i actually i do really dig it for what it is and um surrounds are used a lot more heavily and a lot more prevalently and uh bass response is just really stepped up speaker separation is great here i'm gonna give this a nine out of ten also it is something that if you are willing to accept a brand new mix for Schindler's List, it's really damn good. And as far as the digital copy goes, this is a Movies Anywhere digital copy. So what that means is you can access the 4K version with the Dolby Vision and the Dolby Atmos on iTunes and on Voodoo. And as far as the special features here goes, um, you get a decent amount of special features, none of which are actually on the 4K disc. They are all on its own separate Blu-ray disc that is um, relegated for special features. But you do get some new special features here, like uh, looking back at Shindra's list, which is pretty much a, uh, a interview after a 2018 screening with uh, Steven Spielberg, Liam Neeson, and Ben Kingsley, along with a few other people from the cast. And along with that, you get a uh, very short uh, featurette that goes into uh, Steven Spielberg and um, encouraging people to speak up against hate and a lot of that kind of stuff. You get a great featurette that Steven Spielberg actually hosts where he, uh, he goes into in depth the holocaust with people that are actually survivors from it it is a hard thing to watch but it is actually very informative and in the end i found it to be uh, kind of heartwarming and you do get a few more featurettes there is a decent amount here and i'm gonna give this a seven out of ten this is not that bad and getting into my last looks at Shindle's list 
Look, um, uh, this movie is uh, very necessary for people to watch. It can be hard to watch at times, but it is necessary. You know, uh, some movies you just have to see to uh, really understand um, f how film making has gotten to where it is today and i do feel like this is one of those experiences and uh yeah this is just a a really really seminal film for a lot of people and when you add up all my scores for shindles list in 4k ultra hd you come out to a 35 out of 40 if you have the ambition to actually sit through this film uh more than once <laughs> then you definitely would want to pick this up this is a very very strong video and audio presentation with a good amount of special features to back it up and yeah this is just a really solid uptick from the uh previous blu-ray and Taking a look at my next up shelf, you have Bad Times at El Royale right here. I'm going to be getting into that real damn soon for you guys. And a matter of fact, I'm going to be filming it right after this video is done. So if you're excited about that, subscribe so you know when that video comes out. You know you want to see it. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. You guys are awesome. I don't even need to say it because you know it and I will see all of you next time.